video is sponsored by Exploding Kittens. Ready, set, go. go. One. Ah! What? Seven, yeah! This is it. Ta-da! Yeah! I got you Yay! This is so scary, guys. Actually, not gonna lie. Okay. Whoa! trend going around on YouTube where people are starting to try and spend 24 hours in their room and seeing if they can survive the full day. I can't so, my computer. <laughs> yeah, Jake is like, easy, I just need my computer. So I think it would actually be pretty easy. Honestly, we've done some crazy 24 hour challenges. Like we spent 24 hours in the bathroom before and that's like way harder. I think this is gonna be fairly easy. So let's go ahead and grab all the supplies we need for our 24 hour challenge and head down to my room. All right, you guys, moment of truth. Let's um, see what my room looks like. By the way. Room reveal. Ready, set, go. That's 24 hours. Dun, dun, dun. Um, also, I just gotta point out that's a really rainy, stormy day. I don't know if you could tell, but it's really kind of dark outside and there's water droplets on the window well. So, it's kind of dark. We need to cue the lights. Oh my goodness. Jake is unamused. <laughs> just like, like, wow, <laughs> magic lights turn on. I'm hyper because for breakfast I ate chocolate. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's a door. <laughs> looking really good. Then behind my bed. <laughs> it's a bed. Yeah, it looks really good. <laughs> I made my bed. Um, we've got a dog crate for Atlas. <laughs> my dog. Wow. <laughs> um, dresser. Fancy room. Yeah, dresser. We got a camera. I can take pictures. And a desk. <laughs> Ta-da! All right, you guys. So that is basically the room tour. And I wanted to start off very first by playing this game called Taco Cat spelled backwards. Taco Cat spelled backwards includes a portable foldable box that is also a game board, seven spaces that spell out Taco Cat, seven colorful palindrome tiles, 38 hilarious palindrome cards, and one Taco Cat token. All right, so Exploding Kittens actually sent us a few of their games. So we have Exploding Kittens, original edition. We also have Poetry for Neanderthals, ooh, and we have Taco Cat spelled backwards. And this is the game that I really, really want to play right now with Jacob. Hey. Because this is literally perfect. It's a two player game and it's so much fun. So let's go ahead and kick off our 24 hour challenge with this game. <gasps> Taco Cat is a game of clever card matchups that is in a box that is also the board with a cat that's also a taco. <laughs> Let's go ahead and open it. Yes, watch this, you guys. Watch this magic. Ready? <gasps> Look at this. So it comes with everything you need and like the instructions and all that stuff. And literally, the box is the board. <laughs> it's so cool, which makes it like so easy to like just take with you and everything. Like literally, my mom and I were talking that this would be so perfect to take on our camping trips. And honestly, just to play in general, like everywhere, it's so fun. All right, so I want to show you guys how to play. We have our game all set up and everything. And one thing that I really like about Taco Cat spelled backwards is that the gameplay can either be super quick and simple, or it can be pretty strategic and planned out. And so it's like really versatile, honestly. Um, and I really like that you can just sit down and you can play a simple, quick round or you can really double down on your strategy. Guys, look at the Taco Cat token. It's actually a spin-off character from Exploding Kittens. Let's get ready to start the game. Ah, this is the point where you challenge your opponent to palindrome themed card duels. And basically what that means is literally palindrome means like that the word spells the same both forwards and backwards. So if you look at the spelling of Taco Cat, it is spelled Taco Cat this way. 
but it's also spelled Taco Cat going backwards. <laughs> so I think it's super cool that the entire like card game is kind of based on that. It's so much fun. Duel head to head in this high stakes palindrome powered card game. You win duels by playing cards of matching or higher value to defend your hand, or you're gonna have to be forced to sacrifice your lowest card. Ah! When you're on your final card, whoever has the lowest value card wins the round, bringing Taco Cat closer to their side. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get started with the game. We're starting with seven cards because that is the number that Taco Cat is standing on right now in the middle. So nobody is winning either way. No one's in the lead. We are ready to begin. <laughs> are you ready, brother? I'm kind of nervous to be honest because Jake's pretty good at this game. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. Whoa, oh. one's higher. That means I won that round. So I get to go ahead and start off the next round. Um, I'm gonna play doubles down. So we'll see what you do. If you want to defend or well, sacrifice I have your lowest to, card. Well, I can defend with my number 11 card, which since I don't have another 11, I will have to sacrifice my lowest card. Oh, to get rid of this one. Okay, yeah. all right. Okay, so that means I still won the round because Jake had to sacrifice his card. So I get to go again, and I'm gonna be really strategic and go with three tens. Because I don't think Jake is going to be able to beat that, honestly. <laughs> okay, so I, I can defend with 110. Alrighty. Then I have to sacrifice my lowest number. Ah! And then sacrifice my lowest number again. Oh my goodness! Okay, alrighty, so we're on to the final card. Whoever has the lowest wins. And I think I played a really good game this round. Okay. Three, two, one, go. I had ah, five. Yeah! I had a five. Let's go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So I, I won. I your yep, and we go ahead you. and put that right there. Perfect! And I love how the game board is dynamic, so it moves and it keeps track of who is in the lead and who isn't. And it also determines the amount of cards and a bunch of different factors. Okay, we're gonna play another round really fast. Are you ready? Yep. Three, two, one, one go. go. Oh, Jake won that little part. Okay, so you get to place your card down first. Um. Kinda, he kind of gets like control over the game since he won the very first. Let's go All with right. the nine. All right, I can combat that with a nine. Perfect. Okay, now you attack me. All right, so I won. I get to choose. I'm going to go with a six. I'll go with the six too. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Then I'm going to combat <laughs> you with a five. Oh, a low number. Okay, seven. So okay. I'm going to go 11. <laughs> I did not expect you to have that. <laughs> then I had to sacrifice my lowest card. Surprise! Oh no! Three, two, one, go! <gasps> I win! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Dude, I'm actually doing so good. You know, I've practiced a little bit, so... So, we have a few rounds left. We're gonna keep playing, and we'll update you guys. Okay, guys. We are on the very final round, or I think it's the final round, well. So as you can see, Jake was in the lead for a little bit over here, but I managed to make a comeback, and I am really, really close to winning. So let's reveal our final card, and Kay. whoever has the lowest determines the winner. Ready, set, go. go. One. Ah! What? Seven, yeah! <laughs> I know, I was like, I'm literally gonna win because I have the lowest card. <laughs> Yay! So that means I move this, and put that on there, and I Good job, Jake. Yay! <laughs> All right, that just about wraps up us playing Taco Cat Spelled Backwards. This is seriously so much fun, you guys. And I really love how it's an all-in-one two-player experience. It's so cool, you guys. It's like literally one of my new favorite games. You should check out the link in the description box down below to get Taco Cat Spelled Backwards from ExplodingKittens.com. All right, I'm trying to figure out what to do next for our 24-hour challenge in my bedroom. Um, because obviously there's so many fun things to do. Um, <laughs> I mean, so fun things. I don't know. Um, honestly, right now, I think we both deserve a dance party. What do you think? Yeah. <gasps> Cut the lights and cue the music! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Alright, I 
I'm not right now. <laughs> Honestly, I'm kind of hungry. It's kind of lunchtime. We've waited a little while. And, um, I don't know. We've just been chilling, playing Taco Cat Spell backwards. And what do you so... have in here for lunch? I didn't bring food. Uh, <laughs> I didn't bring food. Bring I just brought my pillow. I didn't bring any food or water. I completely forgot about that. Uh, no! I'm probably gonna leave after I get hungry. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, I'm a little bit hungry. I kind of want lunch, but there's no food in here. I don't even know if I have snacks. You can eat your photos. <laughs> yeah, literally like my pictures. Like, <laughs> what? There's no. It's not gonna work. Uh oh. Okay, Jordan. I have an idea. I can drop out the challenge, so then we both can have lunch. But then I'll be doing this challenge all alone. But I'm really hungry. <laughs> okay, that's fair. All right. But you promise you're gonna bring me lunch? Yes. Think you promise? Brother. <laughs> no, no, no tricksters. You pinky promise? Yes. Okay, so bring me back some lunch and a water bottle, please. Bye, Jay! Bye! He's out of the challenge. I hope he lives up to his promise because I'm really hungry. Um. <gasps> Pizza and a breadstick, very fancy. Well, I didn't get you a bottle of water, I just got you a water in a cup. That is perfect. <laughs> Thank you, Jake! That's so perfect! You're welcome. Thank and you. See ya. Alright, bye! <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. So, it's been a few hours since lunch. I watched a movie and it was really fun. <laughs> um, and now I figured it'd be fun to do a little like concert. So I have my guitar. <laughs> Um, fun story about this guitar. This is it. Ta da! Um, I got this guitar when I was like, I was really young. It was back when we lived in Florida, so over six years ago. But it, it was longer than that. So this is an old guitar. I've never replaced the strings or anything, so it's like, I don't know, it's not like super. I think that's in tune, I can't tell. I'm gonna put on a little concert for y'all and see if I can play something. But honestly, I don't know how to play the guitar. <laughs> I've learned at multiple points in my life and I've actually been able to play at multiple points in my life, but I don't currently know how to play the guitar. I've forgotten everything. So I literally can't remember what to do. Also, I tried to do makeshift little like spots of where you're supposed to put your fingers, but I don't think they're in the right spot. I'm not sure. Beautiful. <laughs> um, let's see if I can play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. That will be so cool. Twinkle, twinkle, little, ah! little star, how I wonder when. Ah! enough. You know what? That's just playing by ear. I don't remember how to play. Ah! Alrighty, y'all. It is starting to get late. Um, I'm tired. <laughs> and so I threw on a hoodie. This is actually our merch. Ooh. <laughs> um, yeah, and so that's the fit. Ooh, so good. But literally, look, it's dark outside. I'm not even kidding. It's been like a full day. That's wild. Literally, I don't even know, but the time kind of passed pretty fast, honestly, because like, I've just been like <laughs> watching movies and videos and stuff and just playing like games and I don't know. It went by pretty fast actually, so I figured since it's starting to get later at night, we should probably do an activity that is very like chill and calming to prepare to like go to sleep, you know? So I figured, Let's do some yoga, shall we? Alrighty, so, <laughs> welcome to my yoga studio. <laughs> Ta-da! Whoa, the lighting, did you see that? That was kind of cool, actually. Okay, so, yoga poses. I know that there's one that you put your leg up like this and go like this, or like this, or something. This is like all about balance. Hey! Wow, I'm really like good at balancing. <laughs> And this is only because of ballet. <laughs> if I hadn't taken ballet, I'd probably not be good at balancing, but like, skills. You know, have you ever seen like those shows where they do like different challenges and stuff and they have to like compete in challenges in order to stay in the show? 
I feel like I would crush it. <laughs> Honestly, I should go on like a show where they do like different endurance challenges because I feel like I would do pretty good. And this guy. <laughs> Actually, I don't know, probably not. Okay, so that's the first yoga pose. Next up, we're gonna do, you know what? This is turning into the yoga challenge. I'm gonna look up some yoga poses to do and we'll see if we can do them. <laughs> okay, um, guys, this next yoga pose is a little bit nerve wracking. So let me show it to you. This is kind of scary. Okay, look, that's what it is. It looks intense to say the least. Not gonna lie, I'm very nervous, but also at the same time, it's kind of like a handstand, right? I just gotta be able to do a handstand, but not. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a go. I'm really nervous. This is tricky. This is so scary, guys. Actually, not gonna lie. Okay. Whoa! Oh! Did you see that? That was like kind of good, but also terrifying. Okay. Um, I know I'm not gonna be able to like do it the way that the picture is because that requires a lot of ab strength, and I, quite frankly, don't have that. So, not gonna work for me. <laughs> but we're gonna try again. Oh! <laughs> I feel like, I feel like I'm just going like, parkour, parkour! <laughs> you know? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, that didn't work out too good. Um, let's try the next one. <laughs> Y'all thought I was gonna do easy yoga poses. No. <laughs> no. We are challenging ourselves today, ladies. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Okay. This girl looks like she is a pro, obviously. She definitely is. Um, I have faith in myself. I think I could do it. I've done yoga kind of a lot. Oh, I think Atlas is at the door. Let's see. Atlas? kisses my hair is like going crazy okay so back to yoga we're gonna try and see if we could do that okay so it looks like this um, girl is going like this and lifting her leg going on her tippy toes but then she like goes like this and twists her arm <laughs> I don't know if that works also Atlas is trying to eat my socks fun fact when Atlas gets bored he literally just comes up to you and takes your sock. See, he's doing it. Get him, get him. Oh, oh, <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> there goes that sock. So yeah, literally so many of my socks have been destroyed because Atlas is just like, yum. I don't know why, but it's fun to him, so. Uh, okay, I think that's enough yoga for one night. I'm kind of tired, not gonna lie. <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> this is kind of like crazy lighting. Anyways, yeah, so it's currently, can you see it? It's 10, 10 at night. This is kind of early. Usually I go to bed a little bit later, which is bad, but um, I figured, you know what? I don't really have anything else to do and I'm kind of tired. So I'm gonna start getting ready for bed. I'm probably gonna go to sleep, but I just wanted to show you my cool lighting. <laughs> Ta-da! You can barely even see it. It's literally um, like a moon. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, well, that is my vlog of the day, going 24 hours spending it in my room. We did a lot of fun things. To be honest, I'm ready to leave my room, <laughs> but I can't until tomorrow morning. So um, I'm gonna head to bed. I'm going to get a good night's rest and be really refreshed for tomorrow morning. I'm actually excited to have like a lot of sleep because I'm going to bed early tonight. So. Anyways, that is going to conclude today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye, good night. Mwah.